Hello guys, what's up everybody? This is Axo978 and I'm coming at you guys with a kind of a unique new video, uh, Star Citizen. Uh, as you can see, I have it open right now, it's what you're looking at. Uh, this is for the Satec X52 on how to properly keybind it and to get it working for you inside the PU and not just for Arena Commander. For those who have been stuck on this issue for months at a time, weeks, however long you guys have been stuck on this issue, for those who are you know new to the X52 Satec system like I am, um, I searched hours and hours online um, through all of RSI on all the forums. Uh, there wasn't very many good helpful tips out there and how to actually do it well. There is just more so people just kind of leaving their, you know, comments of, oh, look, I got the X52 how to work and I'm just going to show off and not tell you guys how to do it at all. So I'm here to scratch all that out and actually be here for you guys to help you guys and to get your Satec X52 or Satec X52 Pro to work in the uh, PU in the persistent universe of Star Citizen and not just for Arena Commander or uh, any other mode. Um, so let's get started, shall we? And this is very simple. Um, so as you can see, uh, you literally just go to Options, open it up, and don't go to any of these other settings, just go straight to Key Bindings. And see Keyboard and Mouse, skip past that, and skip past Gamepad, go straight to joystick slash HOTUS and open up your advanced controls customization tab down here. Once that's opened up in control profiles, let's see, as you can see I've already kind of made my preset, Axos joystick, and you scroll down, and what you could probably do is we'll go with the first option first and we'll just see how this works out, Satec X52. Yes, import, and then go ahead and import it, okay. So in your flight movement section, that is the main area that we're going to focus on first. And down here, as you can see, you have Y, pitch, X, yaw, and literally to keybind these, and if it doesn't happen to show you this preset profile for whatever reason and you're having issues with your star citizen this is literally all you do so for pitch I'm just gonna simply grab my joystick and for pitch I'm just going to pitch my joystick going down so just like this just down and then you can just hold it down why ignore all these ignore all that just click yes anyway believe me um, and then as for your yaw, this is all you do. Grab your joystick again, click on it, and then literally t turn your joystick to either the left or the right, whichever, because you're still, you're still in the yaw position. So just click on it, move your joystick. For me, I move it to the left, and I just hold it there. Bam. Click yes. Okay, that's it. And for this, it's simple as that. Literally, all you do is, for this option, you grab your joystick once again, and instead of moving it as pitching it down or up or turning, you're just you're not even going to really move your joystick left or right or pitch it up and down for this one. For this one, all you do is you just grab your joystick and just simply twist your joystick either left or right. And again, for this one, I just all I did was just twist my joystick left. Just like that. Just twist it left and hold it there and then click yes. Easy as that, right? Okay. Z input. Okay, so we're going to go with throttles. This is kind of unique right here. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Um, the throttle up slash down, just simply click on it, like so. And for this, literally, just do this. Just grab on your thruster, and as soon as you do that, just push up, just like that. And that's it. That's all you do. You just push down your thruster. You can push up. It'll automatically key bind it to Z for you. So now that's key binded. Let's go down here. As you can see, it already kind of pre 
configures keybinds for you for the X52 SATEC uh, profile preset already. Um, you can change these out if you want to, to your preferred settings. So it's up to you. Or you can just go ahead and stick with them. For me though, I'll probably customize these later on. Um, these are key binded in pretty good positions already though. So you're already safe to roll out with these if you want. Um, okay. So for the strafe left and the strafe right buttons, um, this is what I'm going to do. For strafe left, on your Satek X52, the middle knob, not the top far left knob on your joystick, but the very middle center knob on your joystick, use that knob for your strafes. And this is how I keep on my strafes anyway. Um, you can maybe do it differently, but this seems to work for me, I mean, the best way. So we're going to start with strafe up, which I click, and I just literally, on my joystick, I just, in the middle section area, I just hat up, just like that, strafe down, and then I literally just press down. Just like that. And then strafe left. All I do is the same thing. Just pushing my little center little hub there in the middle of my joystick to the left. And as you can see, it successfully keybinded that. So now it's going to recognize it. My thruster is going left. So I've already keybinded my thrusters to go up to operate down, and my thrusters to operate left. And last one, operate your thrusters, just same thing, but just push it to the right now. There you go. Now you got the thrusters all working as they should be accordingly to plan. Um, let's take a further look here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let's... Let's go ahead and just, let's roll out into the PU with these settings right now. So that way, if there is anything that we do need to fix, I can show you guys firsthand. And if I do run into an issue, I can show you how to fix it on the spot. So I'm just gonna go with these settings right now. And let's go back. Let's X out of this whole entire, entire menu here. Let's go into the PU universe. Let's see how this works out. Alrighty, let's see. So we're getting closer to our plane or slash jet or craft or okay, that just oh boy. Um, well, just access it anyway. Okay, now here we go. Now we're getting inside. Despite that mishap. Nice, all tucked in. Launch complete. Landing complete. All right, guys. So you guys seen that I uh, keybinded the Hodas. Launch complete. My ship seems to be taking off by itself. That's okay. Now watch this. I'm gonna go up with the Hodas. I'm using the thrusters to go up. Aerial view, just so you guys can see. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now I'll go down. With it goes it goes down okay so that's a little bit too far down that I wanted to go but you guys get the point now I go to the left a little bit see look at that and now with the thrusters moving to the right so the keybinds for the thrusters they work uh, that works so far now let's push the our main thruster uh, your second controller next to your joystick I hope you have hooked up uh, let's use that Let's use that and let's push down the thruster. I'm pushing forward and it's going forward. Now let's see, let's push back. Okay. So, thruster works. Now, let's move the joystick. Let's let's do a roll. So I'm gonna roll to my left with the joystick. And it's rolling to the left. And mind you, I'm in the Persistent Universe, guys. Not an Arena Commander. 
Look at this. Portal is all right here. So, okay. Let's... Okay, so I'm pitching the jet down. And the pitch is going down. Now let's pitch up. It pitches up. Now let's turn the ship to the right. It goes... It yaws to the right. Now let's yaw to the left. Ship is now yawing to the left. And mind you, I'm just going very easy on the controls. I'm not trying to go really fast for you guys. And... Let's pitch down one more time. Yep. And let's pitch up one more time. Yeah. Works. Guys, I'm telling you right now, the controls works really smooth. Key binds are... And let's pitch. Let's kind of... Let's do a roll left and right. So, pitch... Pitch and roll. Seems to be working so far, guys. So, let's see. It's pitch and roll while I'm... Um, there we go. Let's just kind of get crazy with it here. Now, I'm moving the joystick right now in a circular motion. And this is how it's controlling the craft. In a circular motion, when you move the joystick, in a full circular motion, 360. So... It's everything is as far as movement goes everything works and to be honest with you guys if the movement is working and has been able to get key binded this well and is cooperating I'm imagining some of the other key binds are gonna work just as fine for what you need your functions for for auto landing for um, vice versa so yeah this gives you guys the idea of which profiles to pick, so you can do the same thing. In Star Citizen, you just pick the X-52 or the X-52 Satec Pro uh, profiles that are preset already for Star Citizen. And what you do though is you just do the same exact steps that I just showed you guys. If you need to rewind and go back to the beginning of the video to see how that was done again, be my guest keep rewinding as much as you would like to to absorb that knowledge in and I hope I was able to help at least one or two people today to help you know use that Satec controller that's been in your closet or that you've been worried about not being able to use yet because they're still making the controls to be actually officially you know stable and developed for the Satec to be a lot more user friendly for a star citizen rather than having to go through all these hoops and looking you know for answers on the forums and trying to find helpful videos on YouTube but nothing's really helpful because nothing's nobody is really explaining everything Thing into a simplified manner um, so I hope that this video is able to help uh, for those who have been needing help with key binding their Satec controller or their Satec uh, Pro uh, so uh, yeah I hope uh, this video has been helped to you and uh, you know if you like the content and I helped you uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button why not right